We're going to start by having a 10 person economy and each person then would be 10% of the economy. And we're going to start with eight of the individuals in the population earning $1 and two earning $2 each. So we have eight plus two plus two and the GDP is 12. We can calculate the Gini coefficient and using the shortcut formula I've mentioned, and here we see that if you have eight individuals earning $1 and two individuals earning $2 each, then the poorer 80% has eight over 12, which is two thirds of the income. And in a world of perfect income equality, they should have 80% of the income. Then you have 80% of the population earning $1 and 20% of the population earning $2. The GDP is 12, and the Gini coefficient is 0.133. Notice what happens when we have modern sector enlargement. So we're going to have three people now in the modern sector. So somebody leaves the rural sector earning a dollar and goes to the urban sector earning $2. The GDP will obviously increase from 12 to 13. 70% of the population will earn $7 out of the 13, which is right here, 53.8% of the income. And 70% of the population should earn 70% of the income if the income were evenly distributed. So we're going to say 53.8 from 70 is 16.2. So we went from 13.3 to 16.2. This is very important. I want you to see that as more people are moving into the high paying sector, the Gini coefficient is increasing. The income inequality is worsening. Let's put four people now in the modern sector, and we're going to have six people earning $6 total in the rural sector and four people earning $8 total. So six over 14 goes to the poorest 60%, and that's 42.9%. 60% should earn 60%. Notice the Gini went from 13 to 17, and now it's back down to 16. This is called the Kuznets inverted U curve. And what it says is that the Gini coefficient will increase as GDP increases. And after a while, it will plateau at a high. And then the Gini coefficient, as income keeps increasing, the Gini coefficient will decline. So you're going to have an inverted U so when there is a small urban sector and the economy is growing by transferring people into the urban sector, paying the higher wage, we expect inequality to worsen before it gets better. Reducing income inequality is not a high priority when you are at this stage of development, largely rural, and you're now starting to modernize. You expect the inequality will naturally increase according to the measure you're using, and the policymakers just have to live with that. And you can find other justifications for why that would be a not so bad thing to have happen. So things will get worse in terms of income inequality before they get better. And that's just how the problem works itself out.